At first you think it looks cool. And from far away it does. Most of them are kind of worn, a bunch of frayed edges. Stacked vertically in this really nice rough spectrum of colors. Blacks into reds into blacks into blues. Yellow, green, gold. Dirty. And that's what's so rad about it, right? Gritty. Raw. But then you look a little closer at the names. You weren't paying much attention to the names, were you? Beatles. On top of Pink Floyd. On top of Hendrix. On top of the Rolling Stones. On top of Paul Simon. On top of Wilco. How'd that get in there? On top of the soundtrack to Purple Rain. On top of Creedence Clearwater Revival. Another Pink Floyd. Oh, 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 Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hendrix. Again. Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, Johnny Cash. And you're proud of this watery lineup? You have no problem saying, Hey, everyone, come check out my awesome record collection. OK. Wow, that's, wow. Yeah, it was pretty odd. Like, sometimes we'd have to pick these old people up out of their bins, you know, before we installed the new ones. And this was just you and your dad doing it all? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it was just him for like the first two years when he first started the business, but when I was like 12, I was old enough to carry some of the stuff, so I just tagged along. Sometimes we even got to break the beds down into little pieces. That was pretty cool. Is your dad a doctor? Oh, no, no, no. He just knew people in the medical field. So I demand for it, something to do with Medicare, I think. I don't know. Well, now this makes sense. Yeah, what do you, what do you think? I took out a car loan for this van, did you? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Fancy. I don't find it home. Really? Mm hmm. Good for you. Because I am always telling these guys that they're just going to spend their whole lives just stuck to these things. It's ridiculous. I mean, you gotta, you gotta live life, you know? Plus all that radiation. I'm totally bracing for that study that says, oops, sorry about the cancer, everyone. Yeah, well. I just figured the less I had to lie to my mom and dad, the better. Oh, definitely. Those are the things you regret the most, you know? Yeah. I'm really sorry about your loss. Oh, yeah, thanks. I mean, he was an awesome guy, you know, but I'm sure you'd be pretty miserable if you realized how much stuff he just dumped on my mom. I can't even imagine. It's kind of the opposite for you, though, isn't it? Like, with your parents? What do you mean? Well, I just mean, like, it seems like you're... Mom is the breadwinner. At least that's the impression I got. No, actually, uh, my dad's the one that makes the money. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Would not have guessed that. <laughs> what does he do? Sell stocks or something? He's a screenwriter. Pretty successful. What? Ben Holmes. He writes sci-fi. Serious? Like what? What has he? What has he done? Like, do, would I know anything? Um. Do you mind if I don't say? Um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's cool if you don't want me to know. It'd be it's, weird. It's fine, I'm not nosy or anything. Thanks. So he makes the big bucks now. <laughs> 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 yeah, and my mom is trying something new. Well, that's cool that he's doing that for her. Yeah, what a guy. Cuba. You want to stop off in Cuba? Totally. Get some cigars for LA. You know what also be awesome? Mm -hmm. Directions. No, no. Time like this. A little town like that's so everything's closed. 66 is slower. I know. Good. It was designed to get us there. We'll be fine. Yeah, well, I'll keep an eye out for a gas station or something. We really should get a paper map. We'll be fine. We'll get there in time. Don't worry. Okay. You really must be one hell of a guy to have you trekking halfway across the country for him. What? Come on. Are you kidding me? There's totally a guy in this. It's not about some party. I miss my friends. Okay. <laughs> so do you have a boyfriend back then? I thought you said you weren't nosy. That's a yes. What? I think that's a perfectly reasonable question to ask if it's part of the reason that we're going. Yeah. His name is Chase, and yeah. What? It's fine. I have a boyfriend, and I miss him. Oh, man. And he knows you're coming. Of course he does.
you could help me with some directions? <sighs> well, I don't really know much outside of Cuba. We're just on our way to LA, and we know that You know, that road out there is Route 66, and that takes you all the way to LA. Yeah, we know that. Um, we're trying to get to the interstate, so do you have like a paper map or something? Well, let me see. Can I just plug this in? No, sorry. Are you renting a room though? Because there's outlets in every room. How much is a room? Fifty dollars a night. Hey. Okay, so they said that. Suddenly it seems we don't know what where to believe. We've reached a resolution of losing. I don't know where I'm bound And we can't turn this train around Only the road knows where we'll go As the country sleeps, the quiet streets We can dream of all that is and what could be Evening bliss so like a lover's kiss Leads our way into another day And the road knows where it goes They tell us all to keep the faith In something else to make our way And not to betray what has been. But all I want is to walk tall 